all right what's up everybody so today's video I know I haven't uploaded in a long time but um, I was just thinking I was like man I've been playing Texas Chainsaw way more recently because of the double XP I know double XP is over now but I did start playing even more and I used to make videos on this game before it came out I was super hyped for it I still love it I played all the time but you know I just decided I want to do a ranking, I wanted to make some more videos on this game, since I never did since it came out, you know what I'm saying? So, I got my list right here on my phone, but as you can see, I am a family man. I have all my characters, basically max besides one, I'll get to that, but uh, I don't really play victims too much, like I mean I got Connie all the way leveled up, Leland, he's still level one you know what I'm saying but I do have um, basically everyone leveled up with points right now I got 128 points you can't see because of my webcam so I could level I could level um, Danny and Maria up but I just haven't had the chance to yet so maybe uh, one day if it's like this video I'll rank the victims but for now since I'm a family man like 90% of my time goes into family I think I was just gonna rank them first so let's just start with the first one Number one, we got Leatherface. Now, I don't know if that's surprised to anybody. I feel like everybody thinks Leatherface is a number one. I mean, honestly, he's just he's just Leatherface. Come on now. He's he has the highest damage out of everybody. He has great one hit potential. Like very good one hit potential. And he basically uses no stamina whatsoever. You don't even need stamina on Leatherface because of this. This perk right here, violent, your damage is increased by 20% when carrying a full blood vial. So just don't put anything in the stamina. Just put as much as you can in the savagery and blood harvesting. And it'll still fill up on one kill. So one kill gives you max It'll give you 20% damage, plus all this extra blood, just in case you need to feed Grandpa. You know what I mean? So this is this is what well, this is what I do: reduce the chance of overheat, stalling resistance, and then instant activation. Instant activation is just a must, honestly, on Leatherface. I don't know why you would use anything else on him. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick right now. But yeah, and then attack damage increased by. 15% but stamina consumption tied to attacks is 200% more costly. You don't even notice it. You barely even use stamina with other face Because when you rev your chainsaw and he puts it up in the air, it uses no stamina whatsoever. <laughs> well, it does, I think, but you can't run out. And then this one, this one just got added to him. It wasn't on there before, at least with this type of build. When you basically, when you hit somebody, they take one point of damage for extra five seconds. And ever since this perk came out for Leatherface... I've been getting a lot more Gallows kills, so I've gotten pretty close to my Gallows achievements. And then for Grandpa's perks, I just use this one. Kill, this is my favorite one. And then Cosmetics, obviously. This is this is my favorite one right here. I got Nicotero. Eh. This is my favorite one, so... Bloody Killer, Rusty. So yeah, Leatherface at number one. Now number two. Who do you think I got at number two? I got... Hitchhiker. Now, I know some people's gonna be like, "What hitchhiker? Not 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 hands or John? Yeah, hitchhiker." And you gotta hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So hitchhiker, he's the oh, he's really one of the only characters that can lock down exits like after they've already been opened. Hands can do that now, but he can place his traps down kind of anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But uh. So yeah, and he's, well, let me just start by saying, these three are the best trio, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't think no other team can just beat this three, but Hitchhiker, he's just, re he's just really strong. He can just put traps down and stop people from going to objectives, going through crawl spaces, like loops and stuff, which is my favorite way to put them. If you don't have a cook on your team or a hands or something, it isn't bad to actually place a trap in some of these doors but uh most of the time you want to place them in like 
areas where you know victims go loop through like crawl spaces that type of stuff <laughs> oh excuse me again so yeah um this is my build for him now i could i you could boost blood harvesting up to 25 to get a full like 100 blood so you could feed grandpa mine's on 22 so even when i get a full ca max capacity it doesn't fully level him up but that's fine um it never really bothers me hitchhiker's fast so you can just kind of run and just pick up more you know blood off the ground and stuff so this is my build 36 35 i think this is perfect for him and then i got faster placement break free and then i love this one bleed damage it's so good i've gotten so many people just falling on the ground with this one to be honest with you the other ones are good too but if i had to say i would probably go this one and then this is my build for him dinner bell simple enough nancy has his perk i don't know who else has it to be honest with you um basically when victims caught in your trap they just get highlighted venom this one's great victims contrast take one hp of extra damage per second that pairs nicely with this and then scout obviously move who doesn't want more movement speed <clears throat> excuse me and then this one doesn't really i like this one nobody escapes hell that's the one i always use kill new one's my favorite just like leatherface the one that just came out cosmetic oh i don't have this yet i'm close to level 99 no i'll say that claim more i really like this outfit weapon doesn't matter you can't really you can't really see it anyway but i do like this little blue one but yeah i say hitchhiker number two he got he's fast he got traps which is already a w he can go through crawl spaces he can he can basically just shut down loops. He can he can chase you to the ends of the earth. I promise you, he does not he does not stop chasing you. When there's a hitchhiker on you, good luck getting rid of him. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, hitchhiker number two. Oh, excuse me, I don't know why. So let's see, number three is going to be hands. So hands is the newly released killer. He just came out a couple weeks ago. Now him and uh Maria, which I'm gonna be honest, Maria's trash. But hands, he's a, uh, he's really good. So basically, what he does is he, he has like 18 abilities. I ain't gonna lie. So he has a barge. So how like how Leland has his barge is a little bit harder to use and honestly kind of, eh. But I mean he has it. He can break barriers, but you can only do that with a perk, which I recommend taking no matter what. He can rip stall stuff. So let's just say a victim puts a a valve in or the phone or like not the phone, fuse something on friday 13 the fuse in you can just walk over and rip it out and they have to get a new one unlike how the other ones are you just sh shut it off or twist it you know what i'm saying and then he has traps kind of like cook padlocks they're not as good but you can place them on anything metal like gates or stuff like that and then it'll lock down that that door so you would think he would be the best killer in the game which i i agree but like I, I understand why people think that which i do think he's really strong but i'd rather go against the hands than leatherface or hitchhiker to be honest but uh he is very strong though i feel like his rip stall does need a little bit of a a nerf if i'm being honest maybe just increase the timer a little bit but yeah, he got, he got no kills. Well, he got two kills, I meant. No cosmetics and no weapons. This is the this is the thing I like on him. Ripstall cooldown reduction by 20%. Because it's, it's not even that long of a cooldown anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And you can still, you can like, let's just say the valve opens. You can still rip it out even after the valve opens or something. Defensive barge. I probably, I, uh, it's not bad. It I like this one, though. Because when you barge... It usually takes 90% of your stamina away. No, I'm talking 100% actually. It'd be taking all your stamina away. So with this one, you you still have a little bit of stamina left to use. And then this one, this one's just the best one. After performing a rip stall, the object will gain an instant electric trap. So basically, let's just say like someone puts the fuse in and then puts the thing down. You run over there, rip, take just rip the fuse out, and then it just instantly puts an electric trap on it. It doesn't even use one of yours. It doesn't matter if you have one or don't. But it only can use one time. But this, so this is this is really good. Yeah, hands is just 
The hands is a beast. This is my build on them, Scout, obviously. Unrelenting. You don't have to use this one. You could probably switch it for like, uh, where is it? Like one of these ones, his unique ones. But I'm like, but eh, you might as well just have that extra stamina. This is I've tried them a little bit. Not this one, but this one. And this is just my favorite one. And then barrier breaker. I'll take this one no matter what. It just allows you to break barriers. And then he don't have good one of these, so I just picked well. Kill. I like this one the most. And then I would just do all these. Have 25 blood harvesting just to get that uh, ability to level up grandpa once. Endurance. And then savagery all the way up. So yeah, that, that's 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 how I feel hands is. So next up on the list is Cook. Oh man, Cook. He used to be my main when the game first came out. This perk just got added on him. So that's why it's not leveled up. But you know, if you can see, he's all leveled up. So Cook, he's definitely the slowest character in the game. And I forgot to mention, I think Hands is a little bit faster than Cook. But Cook is the slowest character in the game by far. Um, but he he works the best on the sm on smaller maps, but he's good on any map. I'll never complain about having a Cook on my team. But on Family House, when nobody brings Cook, it's the worst. So you need a Cook on Family House, basically. So basically, he just puts locks on doors. But them locks are very hard to pick so when you put them on family house they have nothing to do except jumped out the window basically unless if, if, if you if you have three people patrolling the doors they have nothing they can do which is why the best thing in my opinion is leatherface cook and hitchhiker because hitchhiker can trap the windows and then that and then they're like you know what i'm saying leather and then they can just look around it, it's just so so strong on family house but yeah, his his uh, lock picks are very hard to pick, and um, especially with this grand. With the, there's a grandpa perk I think that makes it even harder. Yeah, the mini game for locked doors, and then this right here, you want that one. It just it basically just makes it impossible for victims to to escape. If I'm being honest, so this is my. You got reduced ability drain by thirty percent, increased detection range, and then all family. This one's the best. You just when you listen to people and you can mark them, every family member sees it, not just not just you. So this is this is ideal for a cook in my opinion. This is what exactly what you want. This is the the best in my opinion. I'm sure there's other ones people like, but this is what I like. Serrated, obviously cook. Uh, he doesn't. He's not the fastest at all. So having this is super nice because you can just hit somebody and they still take extra damage. Because it's harder to catch up with them. Security pins. Take this a thousand million times. Every time you use Cook, take this. Added locks are 50. You heard me. 50% harder. You basically need it. It just makes it so much more difficult. And then this one, you can really pick whatever you want. I like this one. You, Because uh, as, as a cook, I like getting blood. So this one's nice, in my opinion. And then exterior alarms. Kills. I like all the kills, but my favorite one is probably this one, Spine Splitter. I actually don't like the new one. It's kind of bland. But yeah, that's Cook. And then here's my cosmetic. He don't have many. Original Bloody. Don't have this yet, but I'm close. And then the weapons. I kind of like this pencil one. But yeah, there's that. So number five is John. Alright, now I have to go on a little rant real quick. 100% for sure. Um... Please, Johnny Mains. Listen, I play Johnny. I play Johnny probably the most besides Leatherface. But please, 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 Johnny Mains, quit going in the basement. You guys be throwing matches, running into basement as so soon as victims make enough noise. And, like, like literally, I've, I've had games where Johnny ran into the... Ba Leatherface was in the basement. Johnny ran down in the basement. We went up and just instantly escaped because there was only one person up there. Like, it was just so easy. Like, you Johnny Mains need to stop going in the basement. All right, but besides that rant, uh, let's just start with this. So Johnny's basically his ability. Everyone I hear people say all the time his ability sucks, his ability is useless. I think his ability is super good. He basically can just detect footprints and then find you. So you get down, you look at a footprint, and then you can just follow it to the victim's location. That's that's really good. And then if you have uh, these, 
you can just increase the range and how long it is. And then his base, he doesn't have another ability, but when he hits, he lunges forward. So when he hits, he just he just keeps on lunging. And then with this build right here, you use basically no stamina. So you can just keep on mashing the trigger and he'll just run forward. He'll just keep on running forward swinging. And so it's kind of impossible for victims to escape. Now you can escape him as victims just by like spinning around him. If you play Dead by Daylight, just literally just do that. And it's so hard for him to hit you. Which is really the only counter to Johnny. I love Johnny. I hope you don't get nerfed, but I don't know. So here's my uh, build with him. I already showed you this. Serrated, of course. And who doesn't want extra damage, especially on Johnny? Which you don't really need it, because Johnny stays on you the whole time. But that's what I use. I don't know what else I would use on him. Nothing, nothing else is really that good. Feral, increase the savagery if you want this build right here 50 savagery and 50 endurance then easily tuckered out your attacks use 30 percent less stamina it lets you swing even more i don't know what else to say you can swing even more and then you know you got that shirtless johnny skin too this one probably that don't have all day none of these are really good grandpa perks are honestly kind of sh trash if i'm being honest with you cosmetics original bloody shirtless stalker which is the 99 Razor Sharp, I was actually going to buy this one, but I didn't because it's kind of plain. Then you got his weapons. So yeah, Johnny and quit going into the basement. All right. Next up, got the last two. We haven't talked about Sissy or Nancy yet. So number six is going to be Sissy. Now... This was very difficult to do. Because I'm going to be honest, I was actually going to flip it around. I was going to put Nancy here and then Sissy. But I was going over their strengths and weaknesses literally almost all night thinking about it. And this is just kind of what I came up to. So, Sissy, she's she's quick. Um, she has no type of lunge whatsoever, though. I'm going to be honest, when she hits... She just kind of stands still, so it's very hard to hit victims. But she can stay on you. Not as good as Hitchhiker, in my opinion. But yeah, so her ability is... It's a poison cloud. So you just pick up poisons from the poison stand, and then shoot it out. Like, you blow it out. And then it goes everywhere, and then when they walk into it, they get... Their vision gets blurry, and then if you upgrade it, they'll lose health. Which, I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> her ability... It's all right, in my opinion. You can poison stuff. She can hide in a, she can hide places. So this is my build for her: wireframe, fired up, and scout. Just be super quick. Um, see, she really hasn't. You can put all your points in the savagery, but there's no point for that because she's not like just chase people down. Like it takes like I swear like 15 hits to kill somebody with sissy. But uh, wireframe, basically. Just allows you to traverse stuff faster. Gaps, 40% faster, and crawl space is 60. Great perk for any fast character like this who can go through that stuff. Fired up. Same thing for Johnny. Wait, no, no, I didn't use this on Johnny. This one's, so after you completely, my bad, after you completely run out of stamina, it takes way less for time for it to start regenerating again, which is good for her if you're, because you're chasing people. So you're going to be hitting people. No, no, no lunge whatsoever. And then, when your stamina runs out, it instantly basically goes back up. Scout, movement speed, of course. Exterior alarms. Yeah, who wouldn't want exterior alarms? And then, kills are, uh... Her kills are pretty good. I really like this new one. Cosmetics, I don't have any of these two. But I do like this broad one that came out. But yeah, and then Sissy has, um... The weapons, you really can't see hers. I guess you can see her more than Hitchhikers. Because the end pokes out. So you can see it a little bit, but not much. But yeah, that's Sissy. I don't think she's too good. And then, last place, Nancy. Uh, now, I bought Nancy, and I really never played her, but I tried her. Got her a level 2. Couldn't get her a level 3. She's just not good. Only map she's good on, in my opinion, is Family House and Nancy's House. That's it. Um, her ability, useless if you weren't playing as a team. Her traps, your your teammates can walk right through it. I really don't have much to say on Nancy. Uh, 
This is what I like, Poison Claws. It got nerfed, but it's still pretty good. Pins and Needles. This is nice because you can just place down whole bunches of um, your barbed wire. Unrelenting Endurance. I, I don't have much to say about Nancy, but I forgot to talk about her ability. Basically, she can look. She has like this vision thing where she can see people. You know what I mean? And then you just basically just see where they are, but it's super blurry unless you level it up a certain way. And then she has barbed wire, which when they go through, it's kind of like Hitchhiker's Traps, but it, it's worse. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I gotta say on Nancy. I don't, she's not good. I like this kill. These are her attributes. Cosmetics, yeah. It's just Nancy. Um, okay, but yeah. So that's my list. But yeah, that's gonna be my ranking of the family members in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you guys want to see um, victim ranking in the future, maybe a map ranking, other type of stuff, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm definitely going to be making some videos here soon. I'm going to be playing some horror games, um, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.